Hi folks, uh, right, the uh, second uh, knife painting for you. I've, I've moved the, uh, the my, my little makeshift palette from the bottom to the top here. I hope we can work okay at it, I'll show it on my arm. But <coughs> I won't get my, my little finger in the paint when I go to try to paint the, the, the bottom bits. Uh, so, uh, what should we do? Is it a rocky scene? We've done a couple of landscapes lately. Plenty of uh, paper. Let's uh, just draw a little rough uh, sort of a land, a land's end, but Uh, right, let's see, see up here. Just above, above half, and then we can put in some. Up there, that'll do. Just a eight memoir. Right, okay. Uh, a bit of white. Let's have some more white. I'm going to use plenty of white in this sky. Um, um, or maybe we'll go for for a more dramatic sky. We can have um, a bit of bit of dark on the horizon. Let's reverse. So let's have a bit of dark. So a bit of bit of this uh, red ochre add a bit of white to it so I can add a bit of that cad red with it more white Just get the paint on and I'm getting hungry now so I'm so I'm uh, going to have some some soup. Okay. So we can have a nice nice light horizon counter changing I don't um, I used to uh, put a strip of masking tape across here across my paintings but the thing is you, you get a solid line that's hard to to blend it makes a Especially in acrylic. Okay, so approximate. Okay, some red. Let's get some more of that red in there. Stormy. I, I love this uh, red ochre. It's a really good, good mixer. Red in there as well. Right, get some uh, white in there. Oops, the board's moving up. 
All right, okay, bit of paper. So remove the uh, screen now so I can see what I'm doing. Can you see all that now? Uh, right, now I want some uh, lights behind there now. Bit of ochre. Have a bit of that red. Oh, I love that red. So a bit of cad red in there. Ah, uh, I've got to sort out this minute when I left the. Uh, my, move my box easily, the lid to it. But I've got slots in, in my uh, board to stop it sliding one way or the other, but it doesn't stop it sliding forward. So I'm sort of, it's a work in progress. Not aiming for any realism, just putting paint, paint on. Let's see how it turns out. The reason I'm doing this. Um, 8 by 10 is because I've got the frame which is that size and I like doing the small ones. That's why I paint. It could be slightly larger. I have got larger frames. None of them are very good. They're just for display afterwards. Alright, let's get that red back into this angry red. Could have balanced the sky. I don't want it to be too weighted one side. I, I reckon that's okay. Let's just blend that a little bit. Get some light shine through here. Right, well there they go. Let's do a bit of a uh, bit of sea now. So we could have a light bluey green there. So a bit of bit of uh what should I have for uh, ultramarine uh, bit of yellow lump of white a bit more blue Right, soften it from the sky into the sea and the sea into the sky. Then you get that you, you get that nice softness on the horizon 
Um, we've got a bit lighter in here. I was going around that rock. There's rock. Uh, we'll just get a little bit of sea reflected in that from the sky. Right, and we can put some darker notes in this now. Right, the lighter. Put those rocks back in there. Now as we come into the foreground, we can start to change the colours. Excuse me. Right, okay. We can put a bit of a bit of light. Right, okay, now we're gonna put going to put in some some rocks, a bit of a paint spray, which has sort of dried off a bit. Right, okay, now we'll uh, put in a bit of white water, a little whitish water around here.
Right, let's uh, get some rocks in here now. Oh, just give me carpet. So we need light against dark, so we'll have a light green there, I think. Bit of that sap green. When we were down in Shannon Cove last October, we uh, saw lots of rocks. We were like the extreme end of, of, of the UK. And we were looking over the cliffs, off, so you couldn't see the beach because. From Land's End anyway. Although I'm not painting Land's End, I'm just just making this up. See, light against start always. Contrast. I'm making my darks with the sap green and red ochre. Got a bit of paint grey as well. Right, let's get some white in there. Bit of green, yellow ochre, red, red ochre. I think it's probably going to trans be transferring this. To, uh, to the frame without dropping it or getting it on my knees or anywhere else come to that. Now I'm working very fast here apart from being hungry. Just rocks. Greens. So the cliffs are green, so all the rocks poke through.
Oh, it's a bit of more rock. I want that to, uh, that to stand out from that. Not too much detail there. I just wanted to create that that looking over the over the uh, over the slope of the rocks. Almost. Okay, that that'll do. It's a it's an impression after all. Right, I'll put that in a mount. Let's just go and clip this. There's nothing else I want to do. So that is an it's a, an impression. And you can get away with anything when you say it's an impression. But it is, it's made, completely made up as I went along. It's, it's from a memory, but it's not anything I've ever actually seen physically, but it's like something I've seen physically. It's like many things I've seen physically. Oh, this is a dodgy bit. No, I'll get the frame, I'll get the frame ready. Clean the fingers. Clear the decks. I've, I've, I cut uh, three uh, panels while I was at it and prepared the three. But I'm going to do some for Patreon as well. If you like what I do, folks, and you want to, you like to make a small contribution to it, go on Patreon, my Patreon channel. You don't have to stay on the ad infinitum, you can, you can come on for a month, two months and then quit. But it all helps to pay for, for the value of this. But, it's not, you don't, but you don't have to. One. I'll put four in. I don't bang them in very far because to, uh, tomorrow I'll probably have to take them out again. Now this frame is it, well, I basically black, white, black, white. It's, it's a plastic photograph frame. Right, I'll put it. I'll just uh, put that on there, and I'll oh no, I'll uh, lift this up. Then I'll also the camera. So you can see it. I quite like that. Uh, right, let's come down. There we are. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. Look at that in the middle. So there we are. I've tried to show a, a deeper colour contrasting against the water that's close to the sea. I mean, sorry, the shore. <coughs> I've kept the sea very simple. The sky is, has got all the detail you want to see. But you're looking over this bit. That's the impression I tried to create. 
All right, let's just come back out again. So there you go, I hope you like that one. Thanks for looking. I'll see you soon. Grab's half past twelve. Goodbye.